morning to order. Let's <coughs> send the reading call the roll, please. Mr. Gambiani. Here. Mr. Matheson. Here. Mr. Paulson. Here. Mrs. Swanson Here. is absent. Mrs. Here. Roman. Mr. Roman. I do that every time. <laughs> Mr. Roman. I'm here. <laughs> Um, Mrs. Coghill is not here yet, but expected. Mrs. Intahar. Here. Um, Mr. Farley, would you like to listen to the function? Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <coughs> need to go to closed session for uh, student discipline. Uh, may I have a motion, please, to move to closed session for the purposes of student discipline? I move we move to, uh, go to closed session. A second. Mrs. Senator, will you call the roll, please? Mr. Roman. Yes. Mr. Gambiani. Yes. Mr. Paulson. Yes. Mr. Matheson. Yes. Mrs. Intahar. Yes. We're now adjourned to closed session. I'll, I would like to motion to reconvene an open session. Still moved. Second. Moved by Mrs. Cockill, seconded by Mr. Bowman. Mrs. Senator, will you call the roll, please? Mrs. Cockill? Yes. Mr. Gambiani? Yes. Mr. Matheson? Yes. Mr. Paulson? Yes. Mr. Bowman? Yes. Mrs. Swanson is absent. Mrs. Intahar? Yes. Okay. Do we have any uh, pub public comments on agenda items? Okay, having none, we'll move on to our uh, action items. Um, first item is uh, the approval of the recommendation to expel student E2012-13-04 Do I hear a motion? So moved. Second? Second. Any discussion? Any discussion? Mrs. Senator, will you call the roll, please? Mr. Roman? Yes. Mrs. Cockhill? Yes. Mr. Gambiani? Yes. Mr. Paulson? Yes. Mr. Matheson? Yes. Mrs. Intahar? Yes. Our next item of business is to uh, expel student E. 2012-13-05. Do I hear a motion? So moved. Moved by Mr. Roman. Second. Second by Mr. Gambiani. Mrs. Senator, will you call the roll, please? Mr. Roman? Yes. Mr. Gambiani? Yes. Mr. Madison? Yes. Mrs. Kaikil? Yes. Mr. Paulson? Yes. Mrs. Injahar? Yes. Our third order of business is to um, uh, pull the expulsion or expel student E2012-13-06 Do I hear a motion? So moved. Second. Seconded. Moved by Mr. Roman, seconded by Mrs. Coghill. Mrs. Senator, will you call the roll please? Mr. Roman? <coughs> yes. Mrs. Coghill? Yes. Mr. Paulson? Yes. Mr. Matheson? Yes. Mr. Gambiani? Yes. Mrs. Intahar? Yes. Motion approved. Our next order of business is uh, approval to submit a school maintenance grant application. Um, Dr. Harris, do you want to speak about this? Yes, briefly. Uh, board members uh, saw in the board report that uh, we have the opportunity to receive some matching funds from the uh, state uh, construction grant. And uh, in this particular case, they uh, uh, recently changed the requirements to give priority to safety and security issues, which we were planning on doing some additional work this summer uh, at several of our buildings. So we are going to submit that grant uh, after, if the board approves it. Um, and there was a deadline for that, uh, May 31st. So we do need the uh, board to take action if there's any further questions, uh, either myself or Mr. Farley can answer them. I have no question, but I wanted to comment, yeah, see how impressed I was when Superintendent Harris spoke to the PTA Council in January, uh, three weeks after Sandy Hook, 
to emphasize not only what was already in place for security for our buildings, but what additional items could be taking place after consulting with first responders in the area. And then later in the semester, I had the opportunity to attend a PTA meeting at Franklin, where I learned from Mr. Kish that some of our facilities folks had already installed upgraded security measures at Franklin, as well as in other schools. And I think this is not only very appropriate, but it tells a lot about our district, and about the foresight, and about the positive efforts we're making to make our schools as secure and safe as we possibly can. So do I hear a motion to um, uh, approve the submission of a school maintenance grant application? So moved. Second. Moved by Mr. Paulson, seconded by Mr. Roman. Any other discussion? Mrs. Sender, will you call the roll, please? Mr. Paulson? Yes. Mr. Roman? Yes. Mr. Gambiani? Yes. Mrs. Cackill? Yes. Mr. Matheson? Yes. Mrs. Intahar? Yes. Motion approved. Next item. Next item on the agenda is approval of a resolution uh, approving a new superintendent contract. Mr. Paulson. <coughs> okay. Uh, whereas the Board of Education of Community Unit School District 200, DuPage County, Illinois, currently employs Dr. Brian Harris as a district superintendent under a multi-year contract with a term of July 1st, 2012 through June 30, 2015. And whereas the Board has determined that Dr. Harris has met the goals and indicators of student performance and academic achievement as stated in the 2012 through 2015 contract in accordance with Section 10-23.8 of the Illinois School Code and Whereas the board and Dr. Harris mutually wish to extend the employment relationship in the best interests of Community Unit School District 200, now therefore be it resolved, one, that the board approves a successor multi-year employment contract with Dr. Harris for the position of superintendent, which will replace the 2012 <coughs> through 2015 agreement for a new term of July 1st, 2013 through June 30, 2018. The contract will be in the form as that attached here too as Exhibit A. Upon the commencement of the successor contract, the current contract will be extinguished. And two, that the board president and the secretary are hereby authorized to execute the contract on behalf of the board. Thank you, Mr. Paulson. Is there a second to the resolution? Second. Seconded by Mr. Roman. Um, comments? Mr. Paulson. No. Right. Well, just real two quick comments. First off, I think it's important. Um, I'd like to acknowledge the prior board. Um, I know, especially Andy Johnson and Ken Knicker, I think it was, um, I appreciate the opportunity as I first got on the board and get involved in this discussion as we set the task for the next five years to uh, have the prior board allow the new board to review this, take action, make some adjustments. Um, I think given the challenges facing districts across Illinois, I think it's critical we have strong, visible leadership in our schools and across our community to provide stability and build a winning team for the long term. I'm excited about having Dr. Harris here for the next five years. Uh, I'm in tune through what I do in my day job, how hard it is for school districts to find quality, experienced leadership. I'm confident Dr. Harris is the right leader for our district and our community. Um, Dr. Harris is going to provide us the needed stability as we navigate the major challenges educationally, financially. Uh, everything that we have ahead of us for the next five years. So, like, as I said at the beginning, I'm very excited about having you with us. Yeah, I would like to make a comment as well. Um, while I'm not in support of the proposed contract, it, it, it's not due to Dr. Harris's performance, uh, but rather a financial element within the agreement that I just cannot reconcile. Uh, but Dr. Harris, uh, personally, you've done an outstanding job leading the district. And going forward, no matter what the vote here, you have my full support. Uh, and, and I know you'll make those ongoing contributions to the district. And thank you for being here. Uh, I'd like to comment that after an in-depth uh, performance evaluation, uh, data analysis, and comparison with other arrangements in comparable districts in the surrounding area, I believe that we have created a sufficiently unique contract, which is appropriate uh, both in term and amount. Uh, for our district to move forward with. I accordingly recommend that we approve uh, the contract as presented. 
Yeah, uh, Dr. Harris was uh, hired as the district superintendent one year before I became a board member. So I know I've worked with him for two of the last three years. When he first came on board, he signed a, a three-year agreement for one year at a salary that was well below what uh, our peer districts are paying their superintendents. And he did not receive a raise uh, during that year, or the following year, or in the third year. And it's been a rolling three-year contract. Uh, it's about time that we actually did something like that. Um, he's achieved all of the goals uh, that have been set forth each year under his contract, including a balanced budget, student achievement goals, the massive technology upgrade that we've been going through for the last three years, or two years, and we're now in our third year, and developing a five-year facilities improvement plan plus a five-year financial plan. I'm convinced we need to retain Dr. Harris to provide, as uh, Mr. Paulson mentioned, a great leader for our district and our community, and stability for this district for the next five years. We need, we are have before us some outstanding and very high challenges, very challenging challenges. Uh, implementing Common Core, uh, more workers, student assessment uh, that we're going to be instituting next year. Um, as well across the state, our continued technology upgrade, our continued facility upgrades, um, the performance evaluation of our teachers and staff that will be implemented within the next several years, our social and emotional program that we are implementing, and probably one of the biggest challenges of all is the pension reform. <laughs> it may or may not happen this year, but it's going to happen. Mm -hmm. um, I believe we've taken a prudent and reasonable approach in addressing the salary, what I call discrepancy, that uh, Mr. Uh, Dr. Harris has uh, uh, experienced the last three years. Uh, we have incorporated a CPI analysis into that uh, 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 salary uh, with an eventual, hopefully, catch-up uh, provision in that, so it will be phased in over a number of years. And also, there's a performance-based element to this contract, which is unique and uh, based upon achieving the goals we mutually agree upon at the uh, beginning of each year. Um, so I think this is a step well worth taking, and I heartily endorse it. Thank you. And I totally support the contract and appreciate that you are here and that you'll be staying with us for five years. Uh, having gone through two searches for superintendents, it is a very difficult process and to find uh, someone the right fit. I'm a strong believer, and as I'm sure everyone is, that um, an organization is only as good as the leadership from top down, and you are the right leader for this uh, district. You have um, put in place a wonderful team to work with, and then at progressing through the principles and I think your hiring skills and and just having been in the position of a teacher and a principal that you you get it and I love the vision and the whole culture piece and um, you really on every situation um, you know you, you understand it and are willing to research it or whatever it takes and, and, and uh, I'm just really thrilled with the way you have um, helped our district for the last three years, and it's exciting to see where we're going next. Thank you. One, one other quick item. I just want to make sure that, it, you know, that we've mentioned a couple of times this is a five year uh, contract. Uh, you know, I, I don't. I'm detecting a little bit like that's the end of the term. Then, you know, I, I hope that's not the case. But, uh, that's not why I'm in the end of this. So. Either. So. <laughs> I won't be done by that, especially if uh, the state legislature moves forward. Good point. Uh, okay, I have a statement. First of all, I have a statement to read from Mrs. Swanson, who could not be here tonight, and. Uh, uh, she says, Dear fellow board members, I ask that you put on record the statement of my strong support for the work of Dr. Harris and for approval of his proposed contract. In the three years he has been with us, Dr. Harris has met or exceeded his contract goals each year. He, has, uh, he has, has us firmly on the road to solving major problems with which we have wrestled for years. He is, uh, he is one who has uh, uh, 
implemented balanced budgets without impacting program. He has aligned our teacher contract with our revenue stream, and he understands technology as a part of infrastructure. His early vision to orient all grades toward college and career readiness has put us ahead of the curve for Common Core implementation. I believe this proposed contract begins to move Dr. Harris toward fair and equitable compensation. But once again, he is our first superintendent to model where education salaries are headed in the future with increases tied to revenue stream and merit. Most importantly, this contract ensures that we will continue to enjoy the long-term benefit of his demonstrated vision, leadership, and commitment to our district. I'm excited to see where he takes us in the next five years. If I were able to attend tonight's meeting, my vote would be an enthusiastic yes. I encourage and ask for your vote of support as well. Respectfully, Rosemary Swanson. So uh, I, I don't have a lot to, to add to all that, but I just want to say that uh, I am so very happy this contract solidifies Dr. Harris's commitment to us and uh, that I really appreciate. Uh, so he'll be with us at least for five years, at least uh, ensuring sustainable and high quality, continuous leadership for our, our entire community. Uh, the fair and equitable terms of this performance-based contract reflect both his outstanding performance to date and the expectation that he will continue to provide exemplary service to District 200. Is that comment? You can comment. Well, I, you know, I just want to say, first of all, thank you to everyone for um, you know, having the uh, full faith and confidence that we are heading in the right direction. I, I am excited about uh, this extension and the new contract. and and uh, looking forward to working for many years, many, many years uh, in District 200. So I think I said this when I was hired several years ago, or three years ago, um, this was a destination district for me. It's the only place I uh, ever applied for a superintendency and it's, I intend to be here for a long period of time. So look forward to it. And I think we've got a lot of great things uh, in store and, and um, certainly want to see them through in the long term. So thank you for the support, look forward to it. Mrs. Sender, will you call the roll, please? Mr. Paulson? Yes. Mr. Vroman? Yes. Mr. Gambiani? No. Mrs. Coghill? Yes. Mr. Matheson? Yes. Mrs. Intahar? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. And happy birthday. Yeah. Oh. It is my birthday. <laughs> It is. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm not even the <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm you are great hairs. Yeah, as long as I keep it. Uh, yeah, yeah, there you go. All right, are there any public comments on management? <laughs> 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 oh. 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 Okay, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Meeting is adjourned. <laughs>